<laughs> I've been wanting to try blonde for a long time, but I didn't want to fry my hair. So I did what all normal girls would do and went out and bought a wig. A lot of people hate on wigs, but I'd rather have a wig than ruin my actual hair. So the million dollar question, how do you make your wig look real? So the first thing you need is your wig. This is my friend and this is my ombre pink and gray wig. Once you have your tweezers and your wig, you start tweezing the part line. Make it look more natural. Once you've gotten your part to be as wide and as natural as you want to match your actual part, get a comb. Once you get the comb on your wig, what it does is it secures it to your head. It won't budge. Now that you've got your part right and you put the comb on your wig, you're ready to put it on. But underneath my wig, what I do is I put my hair in two pigtails, wrap them around, secure them, and put the wig cap on. So once your hair underneath is taken care of and the wig is ready to go, it's time to blend the two. The key to blending your wig is to leave just a little bit of your hair out so that you can blend it. Once your wig and your actual hair line up, making sure the part matches up, it's time for edge control. Edge control is basically a pomade. You use it to gel your baby hairs down and keep everything smooth. And that's how you go blonde without burning your hair.